Yes, yes, yes. This is Alpha Lewis with Alpha Gardening live at the Grenada Food Forest where my mission is to get you growing. In today's video, nice short video because I haven't done anything in a minute. In a minute. So what I want to do here today is give my pole beans some stick because they're overdue for some stick. Some that already have sticks, the sticks are falling over because we had some rain on the soil. It's gotten soft and so on, so you know what I mean? I gotta get that soil to man up, hold up the stick, hold up the bamboo in the air. Viagra. Alright, so if you just follow me, let's get the stick in. Sticking beans is quite simple. I'm using bamboo. Some of what I have here previously, they're quite tall. And I am not quite tall. So what's happening here? Let me see what's happening. So you see, what's really happening here is that these were supposed to be stick, as I said in the intro, some time ago, but I didn't get around to doing it, so they're really fine in their own way. These beans is a sensitive plant, and what beans do is that they such, they go in search for something to climb on. Alright, so sometimes when I'm late, you know, I really have to help acquaint them with what I'm giving them to climb on. Just trying to make sure that it's nice and firm in the ground so that you don't fall over. Yes, as, as I was saying, the beans, they would go in search of something to climb on. But, um, once I get a hold of them at time, yeah, I usually try and help them out. And the reason why I'm getting caught like this is because I'm not here every day. So if you come here, close to this one, so you will realize that they, they have started to flower, which means I'm really, really late with the staking. But as you can see, you know, I have some sticks. Uh, have, this one fell over. Uh, these ones they're leaning so i have to get them sorted out as well uh, if we look here also we can see this here this is a tiny bean i'm gonna pull it out you know just to share this experience see here little baby beans oh so cute yeah 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 so anyhow you know i get here in nature and nature is about nurturing and taking care of the plants really do tend to bring out a softer side in me you know what i mean but um you know it's all good it's all love we're in the garden so what's not to be nice about right unless somebody come and try to take your melon and take your provision and you have to cut out the hand in your land. It's all love. Yeah, so these ones to fall over again. I think I'm gonna tie it. I think I'm gonna tie them. This one is stronger. Although when I tie them together, 
they run the risk now of the weight of those who want to fall uh, being transferred to the one that's straight and probably or maybe they do that Ubuntu thing where the strength is combined and they're able to keep each other up so that's that's what I'm hoping for you try things and you hope they work <sighs> So that's, this is how I get string in the garden. Bush Negro. <laughs> so when I'm stringing up tomatoes, whatever, whatever. If I have to tie something in the, in the garden real quick. You know what I mean? I use, I use this. Then I make this fisherman knot here. Yeah, so that's a bowling knot. <laughs> Moby Dick, anybody? I'm just joking, man. All right. So since since we got here, I think um. See, let, let's do a little tour in the meantime. That's totally off script. I mean, I have some more beans and things to give stick, but you, 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 you see what the process is like. So, I haven't been with you guys out there for a while. Yeah, so that's one that fell over that I had to put up. So here is what I have going on in the garden right now. So, we've been... So you guys have... You, you've seen my videos where... It was just non-stop rain ripping havoc here at the food forest. So after that rain, after my last video, I mean, well, that's when I would have done all these things. I didn't really make any video about. So this is where I had the pak chai growing, right? So I didn't make any videos about what I was doing. I was kind of overwhelmed. I was kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Like. Nobody wants to see the, the, the garden getting destroyed and things like that. So, you know, it, it took a toll on my psyche as a gardener in terms of the effort that I'm putting in here. And then something like, you know what I mean, the same nature that you're trying to save God and trying to tell people to get out there, get growing. That same mother nature could just come and just railroad everything. And it seemed as though I'm, I was just so powerless against it you know what i mean but um nonetheless you know i ain't i ain't a little meow or anything so i continue to come here as you can see and i continue to work so after we went from from the heavy rains we just went into like very hot sun and so today is august 7th and Today is August. No, sorry. Um. So today is October seventh. <laughs> August seventh. <laughs> today is October seventh. <laughs> okay. So today is October seventh, and uh, so yesterday October sixth, and I think on October fifth we had a tropical storm, tropical wave, pass through the southern OECS country of which Grenada is the most sudden so we receive a decent amount of rain and this is the reason why you see things looking happy the plants are happy I'm telling you man listen this nature man you have to love it the corn they're looking happy but because they've been they've spent like a month or more in serious drought because my irrigation system, I had to tear them up because I was doing something else and I didn't really put it back together as yet. So, you know what I mean? There wasn't no big set of water available to wet plants. So I wasn't, I have a little water, but not enough. And the sun was extra hot. So it wasn't gonna make any sense, basically. The soil was just too hot for the little bit of water that I would have been adding to it. So, you know, I, 
decided not to irrigate but um so you could see the the stem of the corn they like this like sives they're so thin but um that's what i have here and all right so you can see i have the beans and then i went in and put in some these are butternut squash so they're all over so what i was trying to go for here is the native indians concept of the three sisters garden all right but um with the sun being so hot the corn didn't always survive the beans survived well the squash survived well so uh if you look if you look back up a little back up a little come on you guys need to back up a little all right so if we stop here so you see i have the corn growing here so they were supposed to be uh, a lot more advanced than that but it didn't work out for the corn with, the, um, with them not having the water and things that they need if you look at this in the center there this this bed there was dry man so you could see the beans they didn't advance as much either because i mean the a plant is a living organism a plant needs you to take care of it a plant needs its food and a plant needs its water and veggies they are hungry corn they are hungry and when you got to feed them you got to feed them you know so if you follow me Come, 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 come. Don't be shy, don't be lazy. Right, so I have this cucumber here before. I don't know if, um, yeah, man, that cucumber is supposed to be in one of my past videos. So I haven't been doing follow up. It didn't produce in no crazy amount, but I, uh, uh, we did get some nice fruits from it. And we still getting some nice fruits from it, so. All right, if you look here, so there is a nice fruit. Uh, I think this was supposed to be one, it didn't advance. Yeah, but the, if you look at the vine, you'll see that the vine is getting ready to die back. There's still some little ones on it. Uh, I might give it a touch of fertilizer, but um, yeah. So, and I always see these, these are the moments that keep my gardening you know these are the moments the the harvesting the i put this here as a little baby and i took care of it you know hot sun whatever i didn't give up and today i can harvest this my little ones my daughter especially she loves this thing and i could bring it home and watch her go crazy over it for me this is what it means to be out here in nature gardening at the Grenada Food Forest. This is this is what drives the passion. Alright? So like this this was totally off script. I already had no big set of things planning. You know? I'm just here with the sticks and the beans and I have the camera so I decided to make a video to share with you guys. So if you find it's crazy then you know what I mean but at least I'm thinking of you. All right, so let's continue with the beans. So this pole, this is a, that's a long pole. I'm gonna make two out of this. I am going to make two pole out of, all right. So remember, safety first always, all right. Use hot glass away from you you know i must make a video about using the cut glass that's what i need to do all right so always away from you all right so
just help them acquaint themselves with the pole. said they're sensitive as long as they know that there is something up there they would um they would do their thing you know what let me not force that one to do that i just put this stick here yeah so it's kind of disorganized because i did not get to them in time Okay, so if you look at the beans, if you come closer, I want you guys to come closer to look at it. So if you look at the beans, you would realize there is a row of beans here, and there is a row of beans here, and then there is this middle way. So what was supposed to happen is that I was supposed to come with the stick uh, a short while after germination and put the sticks in the middle so the, be the beans on both sides could share the stick in the middle I did not do that that did not happen so the beans they're looking for somewhere to climb and so some are, they've gone off in that direction and they've gone off in that direction and I could get them back once they're long enough uh, I put them on the, the stick once they feel the stick they will continue climbing but um I do not get to do it in the organized manner that I had envisioned and that I've planned. Yeah, but that's life. You know, sometimes you plan things, but things they, they, they don't really go as you plan. So you really have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust and you have to be able to make the best out of whatever situation that you're placed in. Advice for that yes yeah, so I'm supposed to have some other sticks where are they today's a crazy day it's hot my brain is boiling so I'm just gonna I'm over here This this one is uh, I'm sorry. These ones are so long. They are so long. Too much sometimes they break when I'm doing this process. I'm not here to break anything. And so you know we could learn from this, just make sure you get to your beans early. It doesn't have to be a time consuming process as you see in here if you get to them early Once 
once you do not get to them early then you know I have this I have this friend older gardener <laughs> he doesn't grow beans he prefers to buy them he thinks the work is too much too time consuming and his exact words beans beans are like having a little baby yeah, I could see what he's saying by what I'm having to do here I don't mind it's not the first time beans I've been late with my beans I didn't miss all never fall So I have these ones, I don't have enough sticks. So I'm gonna have to stick this one, but I'm not. Okay, so this one will have to get done later. Um, I wanted to share that because, mo well, I haven't shared anything for a while. Um, People come up to me, they ask for a video, so uh, this one was not planned, so I hope you enjoy it. If you like it, click the like button. Yeah, so people come up to me and they say, uh, let, 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 let's, let's come closer to each other. All right. Okay. All right, so let me just... Let me do this. Look at this guy. <laughs> Check out this guy. This guy is fearless. Showing down on my beans leaf in my presence. Come and get a close up of him. Hmm? So that's how you know when you get beans or when you get anything from the green other food forest. You don't have to worry about insecticides. You don't have to worry that, you know, I spray my thing on them. Because if this if this year was poisoned, you would not have seen this. Alright, so yeah, so here is what I want to see. So people people have been coming up to see me. Uh, friends that I have who are overseas they call me on the phone they tell me how much they like the videos you know what I mean how much they enjoy the content and I do not see it reflecting in the comments and I do not see it reflecting in the lights in, 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 in the likes but um you guys want to see me do more of these videos these videos they take time they take effort if you want to see me make more videos, help me grow the channel. I'm not asking anybody for money. I'm not asking anybody to donate anything. Share the video. Hit the like button. Hit the notification so you know when the new videos come out. Comment on the videos. That's how the YouTube algorithm works. Alright? Uh, for the people who like this, let's take ownership of this. Let's make this thing ours. I do the video and... You help me build a community. You be part of that community. And you do what you could do to make the videos popular with the YouTube algorithm. So, that's all I have to say. My name is Arthur Lewis. I'm here at the Grenada Food Forest live. My mission is always to get you growing. So, get out there and get growing. <laughs>